Hi everyone, my name is Kenzie if you're new here. I'm so happy that you're here today. We are gonna be doing yet another makeover in our house. Today we're gonna be tackling our bedroom. I have so many fun plans for this space. I want to add some molding to the walls. We want to build our own little built-in fireplace. I wanna have a little cozy reading nook corner. I got all new furniture and the biggest thing that is happening is we are getting brand new floors. Not only in our room are we getting new floors, but we're actually getting them throughout the entire house. So we have so many things planned today. We need to first things first, clear out everything in our room. And then we will start laying our SPC waterproof flooring. I am so excited. I also wanna get some molding up on the wall. I wanna also put window trim on the windows that's something that we do in every part of our home whenever we get to that room that we're renovating um, just because our house didn't come with window trim so we're just gonna slowly add them to each room as we go so we need to put window trim on the list today as well as some molding on the walls and I probably also want to get some paint swatches too just in case we want to paint I haven't decided if I'm gonna leave it the same color as the rest of my house or if I'm gonna paint it like a creamy white color. I don't know. I haven't decided. So we're going to paint swatch everything. You guys can help me decide on some things and we will just get going with this whole bedroom renovation. Here is what our room looks like now. We have scratched up furniture that we had painted black a while ago and of course it didn't last so we need to replace this bed for sure. I also want to redo this fireplace and either build a small fireplace or just get a better looking TV stand or sideboard to fit this space. We're actually gonna keep this big comfy chair in the corner because if my three year old's not sleeping in it, one or a few of the animals are and it is very practical for us in here right now. So it is staying. We're swapping out these nightstands for some fresh ones and best of all, we're replacing these crusty carpets for some gorgeous new flooring. Here's more of the vision in case you're more of a visual learner like me. We will swap out the rug for something a little more bright and airy and also add in some linen curtains to add a little warmth and coziness. We are getting a brand new bed and new nightstands and of course with some extra decor, greenery, and accessories our space is ready to go. Well not quite yet. The vision is there so now let's actually implement it. I have the best family in the world so they came over to help to start this whole makeover. We of course had to clear everything out of the room so we can start tearing out the carpet so we can then and start installing our brand new floors. The feeling is all gone. Take you back to my youth. I don't tend to get myself too ready when I'm doing house projects like this, but I always try to at least get myself a little ready for the day. So I feel more motivated to film and actually get everything done. One thing that is a non-negotiable for me, no matter the day, is smelling good. So I've been trying something recently called Scentbird, where you can get designer fragrances sent to your door every month for only $17. Even get to pick your scents every month so there are no surprises. These are designer perfumes, you guys. Like they are the real deal and they're very strong. A little goes a long way. And that is what I love about them. Some of my favorite scents I've received are Bergamot by Rag and Bone, Sexual Noir by Michael Germain, and Yellow Diamond by Versace. Holy moly, they all smell so good and they're all so different too. I like to wear them for different occasions. The one by Rag and Bone has a more woodsy smell with cashmere hints. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I'm always going for these scents of candles within my home. So I am loving that scent for more of an everyday smell. And then the Sexual Noir is more velvety. I like to use that one for a date night. And then Yellow Diamond by Versace is a classic. It is sweet, but also luxurious with hints of amber and wood with vanilla overtones. I love that one too. I love them all. They have so many different perfumes and colognes and even unisex options to choose from. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30 day supply so you can try out each fragrance before committing to a full size bottle, which can actually cost hundreds of dollars. This is so cool. I love how you can try out these bougie perfumes that are actually the best quality. And I even have a code for 55% off if you want to try out Scentbird. It's Kenzie Mac, which only makes it a little over $8 for your first month, which is amazing. Thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now that I'm a little ready and definitely smelling great, let's continue working on our room. <laughs> I 
questions on my channel like why am I renovating a house that is a brand new build and my answer to that is we came in to this house with intentions of making it our own and fixing it up and giving it character and doing it how we want to do it um and it was honestly the cheaper route to go when it came down to it was building versus buying a used house and renovating it and I kind of like to think of it as this new build house is a blank canvas and if we were to get something that needed demolition and just needed a whole bunch of renovations that would be kind of getting a canvas that was already painted on that we would have to erase and then do all over again anyway so we we're gonna make our house our own and give it some personality and the character that it deserves anyway um so i mean might as well just buy a new build we did upgrade a few things when we bought this house because we no, we didn't want to do it later on. Like we got quartz countertops and we updated the carpet to hardwood. So we have L LVP, we have like waterproof vinyl plank flooring right now. And when we decided on this, we never saw the flooring in person. And there also wasn't that many options for us to choose from, from the builders and what they offered. I knew I didn't want dark floors. I knew I wanted like a light natural floor, but the floors that we ended up choosing are just too light for us that they do not work in our house and they're just not practical for our family we have four animals and two kids and we have so much dirt and hair and just food and stuff gets everywhere on our floors all the time and our floors literally show every single speck because they are so so light and we also have an issue with these guys upstairs we have carpet the cats love carpet they love to scratch it they love to pee on it they love everything about it they have pretty much ruined our carpet upstairs we've tried everything we literally clean out their litter box every day and i just think that it's like a marking your territory kind of thing um for some reason they're just so attracted to peeing on carpet um for whatever reason i don't know why so that's not practical for our family we were planning on replacing the upstairs floor anyway and i figured if we're doing the upstairs i want to do the downstairs too just so the whole house can feel more cohesive and it just feels more high-end that way and it just all flows a lot more naturally together honestly the picking out process of these floors was so fun but it was so hard because they were all so gorgeous these floors are by mcmillan they are the coastal collection there was a few that were too dark or too light so we automatically rolled those ones out and then we were left with four that Nick and I were literally walking around the house the entire weekend like just putting it in different spots around our house trying to figure out which one we like the best and it came down to two floors one was Nantucket and the other one was Carmel we ended up choosing the Carmel one for one reason only we did a dirt test and we took some dirt from outside and we put it on the Carmel one and then we also put it on the Nantucket sheet and whatever one covered up more dirt is the one that we went with and that was caramel like by a landslide and also the reason why we are getting new floors is because we want to hide dirt better we want them to be more practical for our family carmel ended up being a lot more practical for us it is the most beautiful um honey brown color the grains and the lining throughout this floor is absolutely beautiful and also i love how wide the planks are to these floors and they feel and look exactly like real hardwood floors they are so pretty the perfect neutrally creamy almost honey brown color for these floors i'm actually working with a company called the flooring factory i have been in contact with the owner of the flooring factory his name is roger dodger but he is so nice he was kind of helping me pick out which color i wanted we had a long conversation about the installation process and whatnot and he was very helpful throughout the whole thing roger dodger was telling me that these floors um, can sometimes be a little bit tricky to install and that you should really hire a professional or professional team to come install it um so naturally we decided to do it ourselves you guys know that we always like to do everything ourselves even if we don't know what we're doing so i thought this was a perfect opportunity to really just test out the waters and see um how hard of a job it actually is we decided to take it on ourselves nick has actually been doing it every single day from what i understand there have been some tricky parts along the way but nothing that they haven't overcome so far it is looking so so good and it really is just like a puzzle piece that you snap together but for the most part it has been a breeze to install i would say it's more tedious and time consuming than anything and i think the part that takes the most time is 
prepping and tearing out the carpet. We have been working on the upstairs floors for a week and we have kids, so we can't work on it like 24 hours a day. It's just not possible. So Nick probably works on it like a few hours a day here and there if that but with that being said we have pretty much all of the upstairs floor done with exceptions of like our closet and my daughter's closet so really it's pretty much all done it didn't take us that long to do of course we still have to do the stairs and downstairs but so far so good it definitely would have been easier if we would have just hired someone but if that's not in the cards for you I wouldn't let that stop you from getting new floors because they're definitely doable and i wouldn't say easy to install but doable very very doable these floors are so beautiful. There's dust everywhere because our miter saw is up here because it's a literal snowstorm outside. <laughs> so it is freezing. So our miter saw is up here. So we have little fragments everywhere. It's not gonna be clean until all of the floors are in. So we're just gonna have to live with it. We keep vacuuming like every 10 minutes, but there's only so much you can do. Floors are done, well at least in our room, but let's keep it going in here by adding all the molding. We're using these $3 4 inch furring strip boards from Lowe's for these bigger molding pieces. These are not the best quality wood, let me tell ya. It is gonna take a lot of wood filling and sanding, but we needed a ton of these guys and I wanted to save on costs as much as I could. We're going to be putting large rectangles on three of these walls and every wall is going to vary a little bit with each measurement because we have to go around door openings and windows of course. So each wall I had to pretty much design on its own. For this wall, we're making four rectangles. We're framing out the outer edges of the wall and connected them vertically with six of those same $3 trim pieces. Once that part is done, we're gonna frame out every rectangle with this picture frame molding to give it even more pizzazz. This also helps for a smooth transition between the other four inch molding piece and the drywall. I feel like it looks a lot more elevated this way and it will make a huge difference with the end result. Also filling in every crack and nail hole with wood filler. This stuff is great because it goes on purple and it dries into a natural wood color and that's how you know it's ready to sand. I always say you can never have too much of this stuff and I want these pieces to look as smooth as possible. So I'm really taking my time to fill in any imperfections, even if it's already naturally there in the wood. If I had better wood for these molding pieces, it wouldn't be this tedious, but of course you pick and you choose. <laughs> While I continue working on this wall, Nick is gonna start with the window trim. This process is super easy and really cost efficient. I think we calculated it out one time and each window ended up being less than $50 each to trim out and they all end up really transforming the space completely. And it really just adds so much character. I love how it looks in the end. I have an in-depth tutorial on this whole craftsman style window trim process and the exact wood pieces and materials and everything we used on my channel already. So I will leave that here if you are interested in a more detailed tutorial of these windows. Once the wood filler is dry, I'm going in with 120 grit sandpaper to smooth out the wood surfaces, get rid of any splinters, and also to smooth away any excess wood filler. This process is long and it's definitely a great workout after doing a whole wall, but it's one of the most necessary finishing steps in my opinion. It makes the paint apply so much more seamlessly and although it's tedious, it's definitely worth it. <laughs> Mm. 
Moving on to this cute little window, Nick made all the cuts and I put everything up this time. He really is the best. He has been doing so much in these projects with me and he is just such a great sport about it. We really do have so much fun together and it's been fun to watch his skills grow during each makeover we do. I'm always getting comments saying that we make a great team and I agree, we really do. I always design everything and give him the plans and he cuts all the wood and we both implement it together. He honestly does most of the labor though and is always helping me out, which I am so, so grateful for. I got now as far as I can tell. Sample these paints. We have alabaster. These are all Sharon Williams. Alabaster, white flower, creamy, toque, and snowbound. These are all like creamy off white colors. So just by looking at them, I feel like this one looks very similar to our wall color. It's a lot more gray. It's the toque. I'm gonna try them all out. I'm gonna do it right here because the sun shines right here and then we can also get some shade too. So I'll try to put each one in both. I can already tell this is gonna be my favorite. This is Creamy by Sharon Williams. Um, I just, I'm trying to decide like if it's worth it for me to paint the entire room this color uh, because it's so close to the agreeable gray that we already have on the walls. Um, I'm gonna have to wait until like the different lighting like when the nighttime comes around and see what it looks like then. But like, is it worth it? to paint all of the walls and the ceilings and all the molding this color, uh, this creamy color, or should we just paint the molding, the agreeable gray, which would be so much faster. But then again, it's like, if we're doing the makeover, I wanna do it exactly how we wanna do it because we might as well do it now. So, this is what. <laughs> so, I don't know. We decided to get new five inch baseboards and they look so good. I feel like they just match our style a lot better than the other shorter ones that we had. We're cutting each end of the baseboard at a 45 degree angle. So when it meets with the next baseboard, it will have a more seamless transition. And especially after the finishing steps and paint, you will barely be able to tell where the two baseboards meet up. We also did this 45 degree angle trick for the molding pieces at the top and the bottom of the walls. We have to do this molding on this wall now, and it's a little tricky, so um, I'm gonna kind of explain what our plan is. Hi, Bubba. Yeah, one time. Okay, I feel like this is a better angle. Um, so as you can see, this wall is off-centered. This window is a lot smaller than this one, and it just makes it so it's not centered on the wall. This is where our bed is going to. And then we're also gonna have like a little art piece and I'm also gonna hang curtains. So taking all of those things into account, we're gonna have to kind of do the molding based off of those. Our plan is to do one big rectangle in the middle, but we're gonna do it in the middle of the wall, not the middle of the windows because the windows will look symmetrical when the curtains are up and everything just because of the way that we're gonna hang the curtains so we can make everything look centered. And so our bed can be centered to the room. So once we put this molding up, it's gonna look very off centered. I'm gonna show you my design because I feel like it's a little confusing, but once we are done with the molding part, it's not gonna look centered. It's gonna look a little wonky tonky, but once everything is said and done, it's all painted and then also the curtains are up, the bed is all, centered where it needs to be and the picture is up, it's gonna look so good. 
update on the paint samples. It's definitely worth painting. This one is what I want. I can definitely see a big difference between the two. Here is a close of it compared to our stark white trim. I think it is the perfect, perfect color. It's definitely off-white, very creamy, but it's not yellow or pink. It's just very much white, but it's actually a creamy white. I feel like everything else is a little bit too white, but we are going to color drench it, which is we're gonna paint this color everywhere. The window trim, the baseboards, all the molding, all the walls the door all gonna be drenched in that creamy white color it's all gonna look so good so cohesive i am so excited okay guys that's it for today's video don't forget to check out Sunbird. i will have my discount code and the link down below in the description so you guys can shop there if you're new don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you let me know all of your opinions and all of your suggestions about our room and how it's looking and where we're going with it um and if you have any recommendations for me i would love to hear them make sure to leave a comment and say hi i'd love to have a chat with you please give this video a thumbs up too it really helps me out anyways thank you we'll see you in a few days in a new one bye guys